It's Tim Hink, composer here um, with another installment in this little series, behind the scenes, a little background into composing a new piece of music. This piece is called Orbits and it's for a chamber orchestra. I'd love to see that a couple more people have joined on and are watching these videos and what makes me excited about being a composer is having these conversations and diving more deeply into the music. Um, I've been spending my time sketching. I'm just still at the beginning of forming the first ideas for this piece. I work rather slowly because I like to experiment. Um, I've also been doing a lot of daily sketching, um, something like this that I wrote um, just today. the final composition of Orbits. It may just have a couple of ideas that I want to use, um, maybe some rhythmic ideas or maybe um, a couple of things that may turn into a melody or it may turn into um, something that I can spin out into an even larger section of the piece. So these dailies, I try to polish them as much as possible, finish them off as if they were uh, complete polished miniature compositions. Uh, that just kind of keeps my skills sharp and hopefully get a little bit better each day that I do it. Today's daily sounds um, a bit, yeah, a bit impressionistic, post-impressionistic, and I think that that is probably a sound world that I'm kind of diving into in this piece. But I'm also really heavily drawing from the Baroque and this idea of intricate um, counterpoint, I think is a really nice balance to the more sweeping string lines that I've been working with that we talked about in those earlier videos. Thank you if you've joined along and, and um, are following this channel. Please reach out and let me know if you enjoyed what you saw. I love answering questions about um, my compositional process or about this piece in particular. So look forward to chatting with you about this series and enjoy today's daily.